The Simpsons' 25th season has started off with da -da -da, Homeland, which is based off the pretty popular TV show Homeland. Now, I will really watch the show, so maybe there's some inside jokes I don't get too much. Um, But overall, I would say this is a goodish start. I enjoyed South Park's new start better, but um, just going to compare them because they both started about the same week. So, um, But let's start off. There were some really good jokes in here. I to be honest, though, the problem was the story for me. I, I don't know what it is with The Simpsons, but for the last 10, 15 years, even, you could argue, I just don't know. The stories have been getting just, they're just not as, even when they used to copy shows, it just, there used to be hot in there. This doesn't feel like it's there anymore. It just, it doesn't, I'm just going to be honest. It just doesn't feel like the same show it was so many years ago. And it makes sense by this time there's new writers, and they've lost a lot of their original writers, um, even though they still have a lot of the producers from the show for the, that have stayed a while. Um, now, besides that, I'm going to get to the good part, the jokes. Now, all the jokes came from the side characters, in my opinion. Um, Wiggum's thing about just <laughs> 911 calls and people being talking too fast and even his kind of racist thing, which I thought was somewhat not Wiggum. I thought Wiggum's dumb, not really that. But, um, you know, that's still funny. And um, Lenny and Cole were kind of funny at the beginning and then they kind of disappear. I always like seeing these side characters though. They usually have some of the better jokes a lot of times. And at this point too, I feel way more invested and interested in the other characters because we know what's going to happen if Homer and all of them. Of course, at the end of the episode, Homer, spoilers, it goes back to being Homer. And it kind of takes tension away from any episodes. Not even this tension, but just even, you know, the characters evolved actually over many seasons. But at this point, they're pretty much their stereotype, stereo typical characters and it's not going to change. Lisa's going to try to do good. Homer is going to usually do bad. <laughs> that would be dumb anyway. And Bart, of course, will be bad. And at this point too, there's a line here that let me give you. There's an FBI agent that comes to the house and when Bart says, let me talk to you, you know, manager, basically it becomes like a family, I think. We're not in reality anymore. And I know, I know the show's never been super based on reality. But at one point it just had this feel of reality. And now at this point we're way past that. Well, Bart's talking to the FBI. Like he's that big of a problem that he's talking to FBI guys. I don't know. I guess it's a joke, but at the same time just it makes it feel so much less tension when these characters feel invincible and they just don't feel relatable anymore but anyway like i said side character jokes were all good even though house's little thing about you know my name and now i do and, um guess people whatever but there's nothing amazing in there this week um but yeah i'm looking forward to the halloween the the Oh, man, I cannot remember the name right now, but the Halloween episodes that come every year, Treehouse of Horror, how can I forget? Um, I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm gonna, this should be a good episode, I hope, and um, yeah, and by the way, tomorrow the Simpsons tapped out, um, Hall Treehouse of Horror expansion's coming out, so get ready for that. Anyway, um, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next week when I do the review for the second episode of The Simpsons 25th season.